Blessings and peace to you. This is SB Favor Thinking Podcast, and my name is SB Favor. How are you doing today? It is Tuesday, September 20th, 2022. Another wonderful day, and another day to be thankful. And as I always say, if you focus on what is good, then you can project something good to happen. So make sure you focus on the things that give you joy. Make sure you focus on the things that give you peace because it does not benefit you at all to focus on the negative things. When you're sitting around just thinking about all the negative things, then what happens is from negative thoughts, you will stir up negative emotions. So focus on what is good. Focusing on what's good is just, it's better for your mind, your spirit, and it produces healing, especially if You're going through something and you just want to come out of it quicker. You got to focus on what is good. Well, I hope everyone is having a good day. I took a little break again. Yes, I'm I'm sure some of you noticed there hasn't been any new episodes, but I am here to share an inspirational quote with you today. And I have some new episodes coming up very soon, which will be very inspiring, very enlightening to you. And um, so just stay tuned for that. Um, if you would like to give to the podcast, you can give at Cash App, dollar sign, SB Favor. I thank you so much for your support and your donations. And also, if you're out there traveling about today, make sure that you are keeping yourself safe and just doing your part to also keep your family members safe. You know, um, the pandemic is basically over almost, I guess. And so, but we still have to keep ourselves safe. We still have to use that hand sanitizer and be mindful of our environments uh, when we are in public places. So please do your part to keep yourself safe and keep your family members safe. I always remind you of that because I care. So please do your part to stay safe. Well, my inspirational quote is when you are mistreated, do not seek revenge. Take it patiently And pray for your enemies. I'm going to say it again. When you are mistreated. Do not seek revenge. Take it patiently. And pray for your enemies. Now I know somebody's probably thinking. What? Take it patiently. What are you talking about? (laughs) Well you know what? Sometimes when you are mistreated. I believe that. In that moment. God could be testing you to see what you're going to do. Yes, I believe that sometimes God could be testing you to see what you are going to do. Are you going to seek revenge or or you're going to look at the situation, examine yourself, examine the situation to, to learn something or just become hostile and angered to seek revenge? Because some things that we go through is for our learning. Some things that we go through is something we should receive to obtain knowledge. Some things that we go through is so that we can teach somebody else. So when you are mistreated, don't look at it and be ready to take revenge. You know, because... A lot of us as kids, that's how we that's how we used to think when we were teenagers, when we were younger, somebody did something to us. The first thing you think is, oh, they well, they did this to me. I'm going to do this to, to them. But guess what? As grown people, as mature adults, as young adults, guess what? You need to think very carefully and consider your actions because Everything you go through in life is for your learning. Everything you go through in life is is for you to obtain knowledge. So when you are mistreated, take it patiently. Don't seek revenge and pray for your enemies. And the reason why I say pray for your enemies, because there's a scripture in the Bible that says, the vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. And, you know, when I read that scripture, I really thought about it one day because 
I have been mistreated several times in different situations. And, and of course, being human, yes, that's what I thought. Well, they did this to me. I'm going to get them back. But as I've gotten older and matured and have grown and I've been healed, my mindset is different now. But going through situations and circumstances with people, it can be difficult to just think, oh, I'm just going to pray for them, you know. Because we're human, let's be real. You you don't want to be phony about it. We, we're human, right? So, but the, the the right thing to do is to pray for people, right? Forgive quickly and pray for people. But like I said, taking it patiently is is understanding. Um, in that moment, is, is to understand. Okay, what can I learn from this, or what does God want me to learn from this? Also. A soft word turns away wrath. So that's another scripture in the Bible. A soft word turns away wrath. So what happens is, is this. When when you're mistreated, just find out by examining yourself and, of course, praying about it. Find out how you can grow. How, how can you be empowered from what you go through aside from trying to seek revenge? Because seeking revenge, it doesn't it doesn't help. Because God said, the vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. So, because the vengeance belongs to God, when you pray, you're submitting yourself to him to fix the problem and not you fix the problem. See? Because whatsoever a man whatsoever a man sow, that shall he reap. So, what you do to other people, it comes back to you. A lot of people sometimes don't always believe that, but that's the truth. Some people use the word karma, you know. The principle in the Bible is sowing and reaping. Whatsoever you do to somebody, it comes back to you. So giving it to God, praying for the person, you're removing yourself out of the equation to get into trouble, first of all. And then giving it to God is a form of submission saying, Lord, I give this to you. You fix it. You know how I was mistreated. You deal with it. And not me, because when we touch things, sometimes we can mess things up because we think we know everything. No, we don't know everything, but we can know all things when we see God. So when you are mistreated, if you feel that you've been mistreated, take it patiently. Don't seek revenge, but pray for your enemies. I went through something one day on a job when I used to work in the office many, many, many years ago. I was a supervisor for a company I will not name, but this young woman, she she just she just didn't like me. I mean, I would walk past her, I would say good morning, I would give her instructions and 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 you know, basically gave her uh orders or whatever she was supposed to do for that day because I was her supervisor and she just hated my guts. And I said, why does she hate me? Now, I had the authority and the power to actually fire her, but I didn't. So if she had a bad attitude, I would call her into the office. We had we would have a conversation and I would just show her mercy. And so one day I was in the office and she comes walking into the office and she says, they fired me. And she said, I am so sorry that I judged you and that I hated you. So I I just stood there and I I just paused and I didn't say anything. Long story short, she was fired from her job and she said she was sorry for hating me. And in that moment when she said that, I opened my arms and I prayed for her. Now, what if I was the type of supervisor to walk in each morning and just not consider the fact that this woman was hurting and she had other problems that didn't have anything to do with me. But I considered those things and that is why I didn't fire her or do things that was according to procedure and policy to reprimand her because of the way she treated me, right? But like I said, she got fired by another manager cried in my arms and said she was sorry. So in that moment, I started thinking about all the times I prayed for her. 
Because each time she showed me hatred, each time she was insubordinate, each time she was was problematic in her attitude toward me, um, I prayed for her. I didn't seek revenge. I prayed for her. So when she was fired, who did she run to? She ran to me with tears in her eyes, crying, saying, they fired me. And I said to her, I'm so sorry that happened to you. And I prayed for her in that very moment. And after all of that happened, I just looked to God and I said, wow, all I have to do is pray for my enemies. I don't have to seek revenge. (laughs) So that is what I did. So I'm saying to you, when somebody mistreats you, take it patiently. Don't seek revenge and pray for your enemies. Now, I'm not saying you should let people just walk all over you and put their foot on you. I'm not saying that at all. Because we all have a right to um, make sure that we're not being abused by anyone. Because if you allow somebody to mistreat you and you don't set a standard in terms of what you allow and disallow, then that can become abuse. But what I am saying is that just don't seek revenge because it's just not worth it. You know, if someone does something to you and you know that it's a lie, if someone does something to you and you know it's it's just wrong, you don't deserve it, it's unmerited, guess what? Don't seek revenge. Pray for them. If you're accused of doing something you know you didn't do, don't seek revenge. Pray for them. Like I said, it could be a family relationship. It could be a marriage. It could be anything. But in that moment, remember, God is looking to see what you are going to do. God is watching. He's always watching to see Are we willing to forgive? Are we willing to be better? Or are we willing to be worse? Because each day we live is an opportunity to do better. So I'm saying to you, when you are mistreated, take it patiently. Do not seek revenge, but pray for your enemies. We have responsibility to do that Because the person that's mistreating you may not even be aware of how they are mistreating you. Yeah, I know that sounds kind of crazy, but it's the truth. Because some people, they don't even examine themselves until they come to a place of absolute consciousness to say, wait a minute, what am I doing? We all can make mistakes and do things that we're not, we are not proud of. So what I'm saying to you again. When you or if you are mistreated, do not seek revenge, but take it patiently and pray for your enemies. I learned a valuable lesson with that young lady on the job. And when I experienced that, I was never the same again. And that's why I'm sharing this with you today. And now when I go through things with different people, I do the same thing. Even if it's something that's very painful, I tell myself, okay, examine myself, talk to God, take it patiently. Now, if if I'm in a situation where I need to talk it out with the person and let them know what they did to me, yes, I will do that too. But if the person that's mistreating me, if they're not aware of their actions or if they are in denial of their actions, then then what I will do is... Give it to God. So I'm saying to you, it's not worth the revenge, the stress, the the turmoil that could be in your spirit. It's not worth it. So let it go. But most importantly, pray for your enemies. Take it patiently. And remember also, a soft word turns away wrath. A soft word 
turns away wrath. Remember that. Remember that because when someone is going through something and they may say something to you they really don't mean, a soft word can turn away away wrath, meaning by how you respond can make the difference. So I hope these words (laughs) gave you something to think about because this is what I'm thinking about today. And I just wanted to share this with you. So I hope everyone has a good rest of the week. I will be back on uh, one day this week with two or three more episodes. I promise. I know um, I haven't been on, but like I said, sometimes life happens and I got to pace myself with all things. But once again, I want to remind you, if you would like to give to the podcast, you can give at Cash App, dollar sign, SB Favor. Your donations are very, very important because I am in the process of expanding the podcast and I need your support. So give at Cash App, dollar sign, SB Favor. And if you're not sure about how to give or if you don't want to give on Cash App, then send me an email and I will respond to you and I will give you some information about how you can send donations to the podcast. I appreciate you for listening. And if you need to reach me, you can reach me at sbfavor at yahoo.com via email. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. At SB Favor, I also have a TikTok handle that is also SB Favor. And please subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts and make sure you uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please click like, leave me some feedback and make sure you share the podcast with others. I'm looking forward to doing many more episodes to share some good content. So please share the podcast with others and make sure you keep listening. And like I said, if you would like to give to the podcast, you can give at Cash App, dollar sign, SB Favor, or please send me an email and I can give you some more information about how you can send donations to the podcast. So thank you for listening. And like I said, please share the podcast with others and you have a good day.